What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about the best martial art for self-defense. Yeah, you guys heard me right, the best. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for that, it helps me out a lot. So let's get into it. Now, what is the best martial art for self-defense? Well, I would say you'd have to go into an art where they specialize in weapons, okay? So, to the exception of a gun, obviously if you're, um, yeah, I mean, if your state allows uh, carrying a gun, that's what I would recommend. And then, I guess it is a form of martial, uh, maybe not art, but I'm sure there's arguments for that, you know, like, like shooting. Uh, is is an art form. I mean, to get good at it and to become uh, proficient at it and stuff like that, then it requires time, practice. There's a whole bunch of shit involved. I mean, just look at snipers, the military. You know, these guys, they, they obviously know what they're doing, right? Um, so without getting into guns, let's stick with uh, sticks and knives, okay? So a martial art that, uh, that I'm aware of that's highly focused on sticks and knives is Eskrima, okay? So uh, now, if your state allows you to walk around in a, with a knife of a certain size or with a stick and where it's legal, right? Or you have to have a permit and then it allows you to do, do so, then you might want to think uh, about considering taking up uh, Eskrima, right? Eskrima is a Filipino martial art and uh, essentially I'm not going to go into it too much because to be honest I don't know too much about it but I know they have their sticks, right? And they have their knife fighting. So that's something that's really interesting, something to look into. If there's other arts, I'm sure there's other martial arts that uh, that do that also, that, that focus a lot on knife and knife fighting and, and stick fighting, then um, of course you could you know, go for those too. Now, here's my reasoning behind this, okay? If, you, if you're in a rush and to, to, for a way to defend yourself and you can't get a gun in your state legally, you know, like get a gun and carry it around with you and just uh, shoot whoever Whoever, whatever bastard is trying to, 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 to fuck with you, right? So then your best bet, the quickest way about it is really to learn stick fighting and knife fighting, you know? And knife fighting is even, I think, a little bit more ideal because if, if let's say two, three guys walk up to you and they're, you know, they're standing at a, at a fair distance where, you know, you're not, you still have time to pull out a knife, okay? And they start fucking with you and they're telling you, okay, uh, hey buddy, how's it going? You got any money for us, you know? And you feel it and you're like, hey guys, back off. Now, even if you know how to fight, okay, it's still, it's still three guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna get complicated, man. But, but watch this. If you pull out a knife, okay, like if you pull out a stick, then, you know, the guys might still jump you and then, uh, and then you'd have to deal with it. And if you're, pra if you're good with the stick, then you can, uh, you could crack some heads and, and get away, right? But now, Think of this how you would react, right? If someone pulls up a fucking knife, like, and they're ready to go, and they look at you, I'm gonna fucking slit slit your throat, you know? And and that knife is very intimidating. You look at a knife, and all you you think of the horrors, the horrors of war, and all kinds of shit like uh, going on in your head, you know? Um, I mean, a knife, you stab somebody, man, that shit's gonna hurt, it's gonna be painful, and the person's gonna bleed, you know? It's even more, somewhat more intimidating um, than, a, than a gun. A gun, it's like, you're gonna die. So that's, you know, the ultimate, the ultimate scary thing about it. But a knife is kind of like, fuck, man, this guy's gonna permanently fuck you up, and you might, you know, you might suffer a lot and then die. Or you might just die in a very painful manner, in a slow and, and you know, it, it's terrible, man. A knife scares the fuck out of people. So if there was three guys in front of you and uh, you're, you have that permit or you're allowed in your state to carry a, gun, uh, a knife around, then 
And of course, you have to know how to use it, right? Because maybe you will have to, uh, uh, you know, chop up, chop up and, and, uh, and dice up that, that first guy so that the other ones, when they see all the blood, they run away like, like uh, screaming like girls and shit like that, right? So you still have to, uh, you would still have to learn how to use it. But I mean, fuck, I think it changes, man. Like, you know, I don't care how big the guy is. You pull out a knife and uh, you show that you're, you're, uh, you're ready to use this and you're going to die. Uh, you know, one way or another, somebody's, somebody's going down, whether it's you or the other guy, but you have that knife. So, holy shit. I mean, I think this could uh, change, um, well, you know, change the, turn the tables in your favor, so to speak, uh, in terms of survival, right? So, this is just a thought I, I had, and uh, I don't personally carry around a knife, and the reason why I don't do that is that where I live here in Montreal, uh, Quebec, Canada, it's really not that fucking dangerous. I mean, we don't we don't have that many shootings here and, and stuff like that. And to be honest, guys, like I don't uh, at this point in my life, I actually don't go out that much. Like I go out to train and then I come home, and then I go to the gym and then I come home. So so I don't really hang around. Uh, you know, I don't go outside late at night where things like this. Um, tend to happen, right? Where people get jumped and robbed and stuff like that. So, knife fighting, knife and stick fighting. Uh, I think the knife is the scarier one, but the stick could still get you out of trouble uh, if there's multiple attackers or even if there's just one. I mean, you pull out a stick and you crack the guy in the head. Of course, you have to know what you're doing, right? So, there you go, man. So, that's it for this one, guys. And a good channel, I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, don't already already aware of uh, Wimpire, right? He's um, martial arts channel, and that's what he specializes in in Eskrima, right? In uh, stick and knife fighting. So I think that's a very good place to begin uh, on YouTube for your um, uh, education in in uh, knife and stick fighting. So if you don't already know him, well, go check him out, right? It's uh, I'll put the link down below. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful and maybe sparked some ideas and maybe hopefully it sparked some a uh, couple of interesting comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you, are you against it? Not against it? And remember, my argument here is really that it's quicker, right? It's quicker to learn uh, how to use a knife. And that knife can do damage uh, fast, so can a stick, you know? Uh, then if you, have, if you went off and you, you train boxing, you know, which takes a little bit of time, you know, even though you can pick it up relatively quickly, but it, it'll still take uh, a certain amount of hours, you know, depending on your, uh, on your skill level and stuff like that and your ability to pick it up. But it takes time, whereas a knife, I mean, you stab it and the guy's gonna, the guy's gonna bleed, for sure. And it's, it's usually a very scary thought. So, Put the comments down below and like this video if you liked it and share this video if you can. Always uh, good for the channel, helps me to grow. So thank you very much guys. Just a quick update. I am going to be investing in, uh, what do you call it? In lights and equipment a little bit for this whole uh, uh, YouTube channel, right? So I'm gonna make better quality videos and New Year's uh, coming up. So I am going to plan on making uh, more t some tutorial videos where I actually show uh, some <clears throat> sorry some techniques and a lot of my techniques will be um, grappling right grappling base because that's my specialty and uh, I'm gonna throw in there some uh, some self defense things uh, based on my own um, based on on my grappling perspective and background okay so just uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Look out for that. It's going to be coming in uh, January 2019. Okay. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate the time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.